Ahab, Nahab's head, so to speak, that they were going to want him dead. So she used, she manipulated the situation. She outrightly accused him and she used the masses to her advantage. And her, her agenda was to get the masses to turn against Nahab so that way they can attack him. That was her agenda. She plotted to kill him and she plotted him privately with the king. So, like I said, the Jezebel lets others do its dirty work. And you'll find a lot of Jezebel spirits all over YouTube. I'm, ser I'm serious, you will. The Jeze and all over the world, the Jezebel gets another person's emotions stirred up. I'm going to stop right there. A Jezebel will know when something is very upsetting to a person. They'll apologize, say, I'm sorry, but then they'll do it again. They thrive in getting another person upset and getting their emotions stirred up. They would do the, they would hit the right buttons to get that person upset. They know it is wrong. They know that getting that person upset is not right, but they'll do it anyway. They knew what specifically got that person upset. So they'll hit the same buttons to get that person's emotions stirred up. And then what happens is that gets that person that's upset into a rage. What else? Um, the Jezebel sits back looking innocent like they did nothing saying, what, me? What did I do? Who, me? I didn't do that. That wasn't me. What? I don't remember. That's not my fault. Or they say, um, you know, that's when the, the false innocence, humility kicks in. So that's another spirit that works behind. So they say, I didn't do that. That's not my fault. Really? Nah. I didn't do that. Really? I didn't commit that sin. Oh, I didn't do that. So basically, this behavior makes it difficult for even the most truth seekers, ardent truth seekers, to pin one down. So this makes it person. If you don't have discernment, okay, this makes it difficult for you as a person trying to discern a Jezebel spirit if the Jezebel spirit actually was manipulative and committed that act and making that person upset intentionally. Oh, <laughs> check this out. The Jezebel, check this out, withhold, withholds information. This is where the confessing struggle comes into play. Okay? There's two sets to this. The Jezebel um, will, this is what the Jezebel will do, okay? The Jezebel has a struggle with confessing sin, a big one. They believe, because they don't confess sin, they believe that what that they're innocent of these charges and what they did, they didn't do anything wrong. That's what they believe and that they're right. Okay. Now that's one reason why they withhold information. The other reason why the, the other reason why they would, with, they would withhold any information is because it's a form of control because this is a dominant spirit that likes to remain dominant. Okay. They like to have, um, power over you by knowing something you don't know in a certain type of situation. So in the eyes of a Jezebel and in their mind and in their mind frame, having information you don't know is a powerful weapon of control for them. But you see, Jesus Christ is always many, many steps ahead because if you have discernment, the Holy Spirit will tell you exactly what that Jezebel is withholding. I've encountered a spirit like this many times. I've been afflicted by the spirit when I was in the world many times, even in the beginning of my Christian walk. So I know the spirit in and out. Here's another characteristic. Let me see. This broadcast allows me half hour. They talk in confusion. So it's impossible to talk with a Jezebel from a logical perspective. 
okay? They are very redundant in their words. Their words are very choppy, very disorganized. When you ask them a direct question, they don't answer that question directly. They, they start going off the path. And they start talking about other things to distract you, to confuse you, okay? This is a way to maintain control and to dominate you. So when confronting a Jezebel spirit, um, you ask them a direct question, they will change the subject maybe five, seven times in a minute, maybe more. Okay? Their aim is to confuse you, okay? So in their mind frame, they want to confuse you and control you so that way they are quote-unquote undiscovered. They're not discovered or they're not exposed. But the Lord Jesus Christ always bring the dark forces to light. And when they're exposed, they get so upset, they throw tantrums, you name it. A Jezebel, um, like I said, this, they demonstrate a lot of false humility. They volunteer for anything because they see that any opportunity is an advantage for them. It's for their own personal gain. So they'll volunteer for anything in order to establish control again. Um, what else? Um, they have like a very sporadic, apprehensive energy, unnatural energy. They look eager for opportunities, but it's a false eagerness, like a false, they have a false compassion for Jesus Christ. They look to be in charge of many projects. Um, although they will work hard from their point of view for their own agenda, their motive is never moral or noble or pure. Okay. Um, like I said, they always got a secret agenda and the Lord always brings it to light. That's why you have to have discernment. A Jezebel is a compulsive liar. Um, they're very manipulative. They, they're charming. They can turn on the charm, make you believe in anything. Make you believe the color orange is green. Um, they always will try to fool you. The Jezebel will look at you with a very seductive eye or puppy dog eyes to make, make themselves look, to try to get maybe even um, gain sympathy from you. They're very deceptive spirits, okay? And they're very calculating, very manipulative. They, when they plan something, it's premeditated, okay? Um, this shows that this spirit is strong and very rebellious, but Jesus Christ is the stronger one and has the power. Amen. Here's another characteristic. Jezebel's spirit ignores people. It's a classic tactic of control. I'm explaining why. When you disagree with a Jezebel, they will ignore you. If you don't approve of their plans, they will ignore you. They will sometimes ignore you as a form of control. They isolate the person by ignoring them. People like Watchmen on the Wall, very few will be ignored by the masses that are following a Jezebel spirit. They will be isolated because they do not want to go along with the Jezebel's plans. Like, take example, the United States. The United States has a heavy Jezebel spirit. Not only a spirit of Antichrist, which is, which is Jezebel spirit is a spirit of Antichrist, but then the United States has a heavy Jezebel spirit. So all of the world is going along with the United States to isolate Israel, or going along with the United States' plans, Israel's not doing it, so Israel's being isolated. Okay, so in this situation, the person that is out of the Jezebel's grace is given an option to either side with the Jezebel or remain ignored indefinitely. Now, I've exposed many Jezebel false prophets, okay? And I've had their masses attack me.
And they told me flat out, why don't you believe this person? Either you believe this person or leave YouTube. I'm not going to leave YouTube because they're upset. I suppose they're a false prophet. They're a false prophet, you know? So if I don't expose, if, if, if I refuse to go with them, then they try to isolate me and falsely flag my videos. That's an example of a Jezebel spirit too. So with a controlling spirit like this, especially when they use tactics like the ones that I mentioned earlier and also ignoring people, you have to agree with this controlling spirit. There's no room to disagree. Now, I'm just telling you is how the spirit works. The spirit never gives credit or shows any kind of gratitude. So a Jezebel spirit will rarely acknowledge or recognize another person's positive actions. Not even if that action turned out to greatly benefit and in favor of the Jezebel spirit. A Jezebel spirit cannot bring themselves to say thank you or to acknowledge that person for what they did for that Per, for that individual, for, to acknowledge that person for doing something right. Um, there are those that are succumb to a Jezebel spirit, seduced by the seducing spirit. Um, they would see a Jezebel seeks the praise of man when the praise and glory goes to Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Jezebel wants that praise and glory, so they do seduce their followers. Okay, so much so that a, a follower of a Jezebel spirit would bless a Jezebel spirit with a gift, a trip, or what, or whatever. Okay, again, this is, this derives to a, uh, characteristics of a dominant spirit that wants to always be in power. The spirit is very critical. The spirit will criticize everyone. Okay, um, the spirit has to be the one that looks good, that, that has to be the center of attention. Um, the spirit has to be the one that makes the plans, that controls the action, that controls the situation. Um, the spirit will criticize any idea that not come, that not come from this spirit, this individual criticizes others to enhance the dominant, the, the, the dominant mind of the Jezebel spirit. So the Jezebel spirit um, wants to remain dominant by criticizing others. Jezebel spirit is very competitive. If he feels threatened by anyone, um, or if anyone tries to steal the spotlight from the Jezebel spirit, or threatens this Jezebel spirit's power and control, um, the Jezebel spirit will do whatever it takes to gain that attention back. Okay, um, if you have a huge accomplishment, the Jezebel will try to outmatch you and come up with a better accomplishment that they may have had. I already told you the Jezebel likes to be in control of information. So if there's ever a situation where information is important, um, the Jezebel spirit will not volunteer that information freely. Jezebel thinks that they know it all and that um, where they get their information is beyond another person's understanding they will only volunteer to what they want to do they use information to their own advantage as a leverage of power okay if they want something from you okay and they know information they will only volunteer bits of it so you can gain their trust that Jezebel spirit and they can thereby manipulate you and they will like I said they will only volunteer bits and pieces if you, you know, and expect something in return. They try to impress people by knowing things. Um, they're very talkative. They, um, very, this Jezebel spirit uses a uh, talkative nature as a form of control. Um, so the Jezebel spirit uses, uh, uh, the Jezebel spirit will talk and wants you to do all of the listening. A Jezebel spirit, when they're confronted, they will, um, when they're confronted with an error, they basically tend to sp spiritualize the situation. They, they explain it off by saying their doctrines or their prophecies is of God. They don't take ownership or responsibility 
for any wrong that they do.